Well, hello you guys. All right, fun day. We get to add color to our ceramic project. So um, this project is for first grade, but you all may have made something else because I'm just gonna make one video about how to add paint. So um, today we'll be using the temper cakes. So if you would get one and put it between you and your, the person next to you, also get a cup of water to share with the person next to you and two brushes, one for each person, okay? If you don't have anyone next to you, that's fine. You can just get one for yourself, okay? Remember this paint, you've got to get your brush wet and then you have to wake it up a little bit, okay? So I've got to w mix it around just for a little, maybe like a couple seconds until I see little tiny bubbles. Then you're going to, um, oh, and we're going to work on a, on a mat today. I'll give you guys all a messy mat to work on so we can kind of keep the tables as clean as we can. And you don't want to have your paint be super wet or it's going to drip everywhere and spread all over on your project. But then you're just going to paint the areas that you want that color. I'm even going to paint the side of my little carrot nose. And then once I get the side done, you're just going to do just like you always do. Wash your brush. Okay, and then you can change color. So I'll wash my brush and then I can switch color. Now, my white paint is not super clean. If yours is not really clean, you might wanna go get a paper towel, get it kind of wet, squeeze out the water and then wipe your paint, wipe in here in the tray to get it clean so that it's the right color, okay? Cause white for at least my first graders that are making their snow people, they might want it to be the real white, nice and clean, okay? So I'll paint the white on there wherever I want that, and then I'm gonna switch colors again, okay? So you'll keep doing that. This paint dries really quickly, so that will be lovely because you're gonna take them home today. So when you're done with this, just kind of set it to the side, but keep it at your table spot because it's going to go home with you. Then on your messy mat, I brought in some bags for you guys to take your projects home in. And I want you to design this bag. So there will be scraps at your table and you're welcome to cut little shapes if you would like. I cut a bunch before I made the video so I wouldn't take super long. And I'm just gonna glue some of these on. Remember, this is going home with you today, so don't use a ton of glue. I'm just gonna do a little dot of glue, and I was gonna make these squares. I'm gonna draw with some markers. Make them look like little presents. What else did I cut? Oh, I cut little trees. And I'm just gonna glue a bunch of stuff all over here. If you wanna design it with just marker, you're welcome to do that. Or you can cut out shapes. You could use a combination like I am going to use. I'm gonna use some marker to add some detail and some paper. So it looks like a cool little decorative bag. All right. And the bag is mainly so that we can get these home safe. <laughs> the bag gives it a little extra protection so that if you maybe drop your backpack a little too hard when you get home because you forget it's in there, I hope the bag will cushion it just a little bit for you guys, okay? Now I'm gonna design this side with all my other shapes, okay? Um, I'll do that in just a minute. And now, once it's all done, oh yeah, I did say I was gonna add some detail with a marker, right? I was gonna add, make these into like presents. Put a little bow on the top of them. Like that, okay? Um, I don't know. I gotta think about how I wanna design all of these. Maybe these need some tree trunks. Okay, so pretend that it's all done. You might wanna go over by the sink and get some paper towel. I'm actually going to get paper towel, wrap this around it a couple times, and this is just giving it a little bit of extra cushion, okay? And then open up your bag, and I want you to very carefully set it in there. I might keep my bag tipped to the side like this so I can just really neatly slide it in. And then when you're done with it, then you're going to take your bag and just fold it up so that it's ready to go home. Okay. 
All right, there it is. You guys have fun. I can't wait to see how everything turns out today with some color added to it and a cute little bag to go home so that it gets home nice and safe today. All right.